Welcome everyone to today's press conference to announce IUPUI's new head men's basketball coach. We'll hear from Dr. Roderick Perry first, Director of Athletics, and then Coach Matt Crenshaw and take some questions. Please use the raise your hand function if you'd like to ask a question. We will begin momentarily. Thank you. Harder. Hello. What a great day in the life of IUPUI, IUPUI Athletics, and the IUPUI Men's Basketball Program. This journey started about four weeks ago in which we set out on a journey to find the next permanent head men's basketball coach. I would like to thank Chancellor Paydar for his support during this process, as well as the screening and search committees. When looking at the basketball program, I felt we needed to have new energy and a commitment to return to our winning ways. And I'm happy to say that after these four weeks and the culmination of that process, we are here to name Matt Crenshaw as the 10th basketball coach at IUPUI. Some information about Matt and what is so impressive about his credentials. He's a facilitator. He finished his career as a program all-time leader in assists. He was the league's Defensive Player of the Year as a senior in 2004. He's a winner. It was his shot in 2003 that won the Mid Continent Championship over Valparaiso University. He's been on the sidelines for two of the most successful seasons in IUPUI history in terms of wins. He was on our bench when we captured our first ever NCAA Division I postseason victory. He helped recruit, teach, and mold some of the best players in IUPUI history. Among them, George Hill, Alex Young, Leroy Nobles, Robert Glenn, and John Avery, just to name a few. He has helped many succeed after graduation. We have former players who are contributing in all walks of life. Some of our former athletes are coaches, teachers, and business leaders. He is a member of the IUPUI Athletics Hall of Fame, and his number 21 is retired and resides in the rafters of Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Quite simply, he's home. And I would like to welcome Coach Matt Crenshaw, the 10th head men's basketball coach at IUPUI. Good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior. Because of him, I'm standing here before you with immense gratitude and appreciation. Without him, none of the successes in my life would be possible. I would like to thank Chancellor Paydar, Dr. Perry, and the entire search committee 
for this incredible opportunity. I will not let you down. I would be remiss if I did not thank all my former coaches, IUPUI teammates, and the countless players that I've been blessed to coach over the years. Thank you to each and every one of my former coworkers over the years that I've been blessed to work alongside. Thank you for every minute you spent with me, teaching me, guiding me, helping me. And thank you to the four head coaches who selected me to be a part of their staffs over, the, over my coaching career. Coach Whitford, Jason, Todd Howard, and last but not least, my college coach and the man that gave me my first opportunity in this coaching profession. I will be forever in your debts. Coach Hunter, I'd like to give you a special thank you again for giving me the opportunity to break into this tough business. You were not only a great coach, a boss to me, but you were also an important mentor. I remember that you were the first person to ever speak about me becoming a head coach. And that was at a time I wasn't thinking about becoming a head coach. That was before ever thinking down that far road. You always challenged me to grow and be the best coach that I could be. So again, Coach Hunter, thank you. To my big brother, Reggie. My hero and role model. I thank you for introducing me to sports. I only played sports because you did, and I wanted to be around you, my big brother. I also wanted to follow in your footsteps and be really good at sports. It was because of you that I even became an athlete. I appreciate your guidance and love over the years and inspiring me to compete at all levels. I just always wanted to make you proud. I hope I've done that. To everyone out there who is coaching, I want you to know, no matter the level, whether it be youth league, high school, or sports for fun, understand that you have the ability to have a tremendous impact on someone. My high school coaches impacted me in so many ways, ways that I did not realize at the time, and I'm sure that they didn't either. But they were impactful, and I'm thankful for them every day. They changed my life and inspired me in my endeavor to become a coach. Coach Crawford, Coach Dembo, Coach Manley, and Coach Gillespie from Ellison High School in Colleen, Texas. Thank you. Another person who impacted me greatly doesn't even know just how much he did. We shared a conversation about four years ago in Phoenix during the Final Four. I was a little frustrated. I was somewhat losing hope that I may not ever get a chance to live out my dream of becoming a head coach and running my program. i had been passed over for various assistant positions and wondering would I ever get a chance to move and grow. Ironically, he too had remained at the same university for 10 years. He told me to keep grinding. The right people will notice and the opportunity will present itself. Just don't give up. Just make sure that you're prepared when the opportunity comes. So to Brad Underwood, the current head coach at the University of Illinois, thank you for the uplifting and supportive words. It may have seemed just like 10 minutes to you, but it was impactful for me and I appreciate it very much. I'd also like to thank my two amazing children, Michael and Michaela. The profession that I chose was not an easy one. I miss birthdays, holidays, and many more important milestones. Thank you for always supporting your dad, despite the challenges. To my significant other, Monique, you've been there through the ups and the downs. Always give me nothing but love, support, and confidence. Thank you for your love and support. Lastly, but certainly not least, to the IUPUI men's alumni, men's basketball alumni, whether you are Metros or Jaguars, thank you for paving the way for a fellow alum such as myself to have the successes that
that I enjoyed over the years. I will, I will work hard to make sure that you all know that this is your home, our home. Together, we will expand the program and work to achieve success even greater than we will all have experienced. To all of the young co coaches out there who may just be starting out, or coaches who have invested many years into the profession that they love so much. Keep faith, keep working hard, and do things the right way. I am a walking affirmation that with hard work, patience, imagination, perseverance, focus towards your endeavors, all while trusting God, you can reach your highest aspirations. I look forward to growing the program. I'm ready to get to work. Thank you. Go Jags. Thank you, Coach. For those on the call, please use the raise your hand function if you'd like to ask a question. Coach, could you uh, please describe your offensive and defensive philosophy and how you want this team to play on the court? Offensively, you know, we're a team that's going to want to play fast. We're going to want to play with pace in space, but it's also we're going to play according to the, the pieces that we have. You know, generally, that's how I would like to play, but we're going to do what's best for this team and the pieces that we currently have. Uh, defensively, uh, anyone that knows me, I'm a gritty, tough dive on the floor kind of guy. So that's what you're going to see from our team, a team that, that, that's tough, that plays with grit. We're going to play man to man. We're going to get after you. We're going to look to uh, get deflections and force turnovers. Coach, could you describe the personal characteristics that you'll look for in the players that you'll recruit to, to fit your program? Yes, simply. The, the characteristics we're going to look for in recruiting will be high character, highly competitive. Um, and then most importantly, we want to recruit the state. We want to recruit the city of Indiana, uh, Indianapolis, the state of Indiana, and then work our, work our way out. Coach, how do you believe your ties to the program as both a previous coach and player, you know, will, will help impact the program? I, I think mostly in recruiting uh, from my time here as a player and assistant coach, we had tremendous success. I'm, I'm able to go into a, to a home and talk about the success that we had and what we're looking to build here. Uh, nobody's gonna be able to talk about IUPUI uh, and, 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 and tell the story of IUPUI better than me. So um, I, I think that's what's gonna lead to some of it. And then it's just relationships, the relationship that I've cultivated over my 20 plus years in, in the state of Indiana, the city of Indianapolis, uh, I'm gonna lean on those heavily. And uh, from there, uh, it'll lead to our success. What are some of the memories that really stick out from, from your time as a player, the ones that you just really hold in high regard? Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of people would, would, would say the, the, the best memory would be, um, you know, hitting the shot and going to the NCAA tournament. It was, it was a great time for the university. It was great for my teammates. Um, and it, it was something that was great, but but for me, uh, it, it's it's so many more. Um, it's, it's it's the relationships that you have 20 plus years later, uh, seeing your teammates get married, you know, seeing their children, seeing them grow, um, you know, being like their uncle. Um, those, those are the memories um, that I that I remember, um, and and look forward to uh, getting those guys and uh, the former players back around the program. Dr. Perry, could you talk a little bit about your, uh, your happiness in this hire and, and how much you're excited for the future? I'm extremely excited about the hire. Um, this job had a tremendous amount of interest. Um, and, you know, Coach Crenshaw um, had to win the job and he did what it takes. He came out as being the best candidate by the number of people interested in this position, um, it, 
it reconfirmed or reaffirmed what I already knew that um, this is a position that has the ability to be very successful and competitive in the Horizon League. So I'm happy to have an alum back leading the program. I know Coach previously talked about it, but can you can you expand a little bit more about that um, importance or uh, ability that his experience as a, an alum and previous experience with the the job will will bring to to his role? Yes, he understands um, who IUPUI is. So to have someone um, be able to give firsthand knowledge of the university. Um, I think is invaluable. Um, someone who can reconnect with our alumni, with our former student athletes, with faculty, staff, students, I think it's also important. And if you look around college athletics this year in particular, several um, coaches have gotten hired at their alma mater, and I think for similar reasons. Question for, for both of you, Dr. Perry, first. Can you explain what, what being a Jaguar means to you? A Jaguar, being a Jaguar to me, um, our student athletes, our coaches, our staff, who are extremely committed to being the best that we can be. Um, we do not forego any any challenge that we are um, confronted with. We take everything head on and we try to live for the moment as well as preparing ourselves for the future. Coach Kunshaw. Uh, I, I, I just follow up with adding uh, perseverance um, and we're gonna you know, conduct ourselves with class and character and integrity and uh, I'd also say that uh, winning, and, and we're not going to let our challenge limit us. We're going to challenge our challenge our limits. Thank you both for your time. That concludes today's press conference. We will send out a recording to uh, media after this concludes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.